Chris, is this crazy for LeBron <laughs> to say? That's your boy, Chris. He, no, he should. Feel, look, it, it, he can feel that way, mm -hmm. that he's the greatest player. Mm -hmm. I, but I'm surprised he said it. I've talked with Michael Jordan, text with Michael Jordan about, you know, the GOAT conversation, this and that. And Jordan always says you can't compare errors. Now, if anybody could say they're the GOAT, it's Michael Jordan. He's never said it. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar could say it. He's never said it. I'm, I'm not going to kill him for saying it, and I'm going to get to why in a minute, but it's surprising to hear somebody come out and say it. Now, I'm starting to wonder, LeBron has always said, I want to be like Muhammad Ali, you know, and in terms of being a global icon, in terms of his off the court, you know, outside of the sport work, and he's obviously doing great stuff there. But one of the things that makes us feel like Muhammad Ali was the greatest because, you know, he lost fights and all that, was him saying it over and over again. He told us, I'm the greatest, I'm the greatest. Even when he lost, I'm the greatest. And we bought into it. And he, look, he was tremendous. And I, part of me wonders, is LeBron saying, I'm going to start putting it out there? Because remember he said a few years ago he should be on Mount Rushmore. You know, he said a few years ago, I'm chasing the ghost in Chicago. I'm wondering, does he feel like this is a way to get myself on the top of that discussion. Now, you and I agree, he's not the GOAT. Now, I would challenge LeBron to say, look, if you're saying this, I mean, he said it, he would be in 2016, which is ridiculous. You can't say Cleveland hadn't won in 52 years. Well, Chicago was a joke of a franchise before Michael Jordan got there. I'm glad, I'm glad you brought that up. He turned them into a dynasty, not just one championship. If LeBron, and, and I, I, don't think he, I don't think he can really pass Michael Jordan. But if you want to do something to make people really think you the GOAT, then go out and lead the Lakers this year. But, but this That's is the not, type of thing to the championship. Of course, here's the problem. It's just, it's, it's not classy. You're not supposed to pat yourself on the back. That's what other people say about you. That's why you've heard, never heard Michael Jordan use that term to describe himself, because that's not what you do. All right? A lot of people call Tom Brady the GOAT. Have you ever heard Tom Brady say he's the GOAT? Of course not. And, and that's the problem with it. LeBron knows he's not, so he's the one going out trying to, you know, promote himself right. and put it out there. And the Muhammad Ali comparison doesn't work. Boxing is an individual thing. It's a part of the cell of who you are and the boxing thing. It's not, oh, I'm the greatest. He was saying that before he ever won. Right, right. So that, that was just a, do you know what I'm saying? It, it wasn't after he won the title that he said he was the greatest. He said he was the greatest, period, um, before he beat Sonny Liston and whatnot. Right, right, so, right. so it's totally different, and LeBron comes off bad when he's the one who has to go around and promote himself and tell everybody that that was the moment. He didn't win that by himself. He had other teammates. It's totally... Kyrie especially. Kyrie made the, the big right. three-point shot to win it and seal the, the finals. I'm not saying LeBron didn't play well and he had to block before that. Kevin Love was on that team, J.R. Smith. There were other players and other people who also were included. So how could that moment... What about the six losses in the NBA Finals? That, doesn't, that didn't count? What about <laughs> I, those? I think LeBron is in a place, and it's been entertaining... Shut up and dribble, the shop, more than an athlete, which is what this was from, where he feels he can say anything. He really is saying what he wants. And it's, again, it's good entertainment. I guess it's the, in the barbershop, you can say whatever you want. It's called Hollywood. Maybe but he's even out. walking in with the, with the wine into a game. I've never seen anybody walk in the workplace with wine in any type of workplace other than maybe a winery, you know? Right. And so that to me is a person who's like, they feeling themselves, I can do whatever I want. And almost testing the water. How far are people going to let me go, you know, and how much I can do. And we'll see if it works out for him. He's doing some great stuff with all these. I mean, we said it. he moved to Hollywood and he is capitalizing on it. It's which, great, which is all interesting fine. stuff for us. But, yeah, it's, it's, I think he's gotten there where he thinks he can say anything. It comes it, off it, tacky. It did feel a little weird, but if anyone could test it, it's LeBron. He's the one who well, can kind of push the Well, it's going to make people hold you to a higher level. I know. Right?